Welcome along to Peel Cathedral and with me, uh, very important people, we've got the, the Chief Minister, also Claire here, who's in Christian aid, with that hat on today, Yes. because uh, you do other things we've, we've chatted you about, but uh, Burundi is, is, is all about, and what's going on there, and I know there's two sort of different events here, but let's take the one, because I know you've been brought along, haven't you, Mr Quayle, especially for this? Well yes, we, the government has done a lot of work over the years with Christian aid, especially Louise, and we've given funding for a two-year project to help in, in three areas in Burundi, the sunflower, um, oil growers, coffee producers and also palm oil. So that's an area that, um, and it's, it's helping women who are producing these crops to make it sustainable, to make it viably, you know, financially viable for them and also to take in, on board the environment and the production of, of these crops. So it's giving money from the, the people of the Isle of Man are very generous and we help with our international aid and it's nice to see where the taxpayers' money is going so it's nice to come along to these um, presentations, meetings, etc., so that I, as Chief Minister, can find out what exactly is happening to the, the grants that have been awarded to the various organisations. Why Burundi? Have you got a particular thing? I mean, there's so, there's so many projects out there. Why? There is, there is so many projects out there. And it, it, you're right, it is very difficult to ascertain where it's best to help. Um, why Burundi? Well, Burundi actually came about because I met a lady who lives on the island who comes from Burundi. Um, that was at the time when we were looking at which project to choose. Burundi is one of the poorest countries in the world. And as you may know, last year I had a, a large birthday, 21 again. Um, and I took myself out there to see for myself exactly what was happening in Burundi. And when I was out there, I was just moved by the people and by the sheer need I'm also conscious as well that when we do anything we want to make sure we're doing the right thing we're treading gently but we're getting best value for money of what we're doing this international partnership grant is answering so many prayers of the people of Burundi it's helping mainly women um, it's looking at um, so it's looking at social projects, it's looking at coffee cooperatives and helping them work better. Those coffee cooperatives, you can actually buy the fair trade coffee from. It's, it's fantastic, the work that's being done. We're also looking at su sustainable palm oil. Um, the palm oil over there is being grown for a long time and is actually part of their regular crop. Um, we're looking at how we can have environmental solutions and um, energy efficient solutions to continue to grow those crops and to make sure it, it remains and grows as sustainable. All of these things are just, we're empowering people to take control of their own lives. We're empowering people to look after themselves. These people just need a hand and just need a lift up and this is what this grant does. There's a bee theme as well, which will come to that in a separate there interview, a because Harry, uh, our main beekeeper, man. There is a man. massive bee theme. But I know you've got this, yeah, this. What I'd really yeah. like to do is I'd like to present the Chief Minister and Thank the Isle of Man government um, with this poster. Yeah. Now, um, hopefully you'll be able to take some photographs yeah. so people will be able to see close up. Um, the white writing that you see is actually prayers that were given to me when I visited Burundi from the people. Um, the lady who lives on the island, Sonia, translated the prayers from Kurundi, which is the native language, into English. And I thought it was the best way, really, of thanking the Isle of Man government and the Isle of Man people for the um, generosity um, of this grant. Regardless of what your views are on prayers or religion, these are the heartfelt wishes of the people that I met, and there's some really beautiful, moving words. International aid, I think sometimes it can be a very contentious issue and I think you lose sight of the fact that these are people that we're talking about and these people who've written these prayers are going to be direct beneficiaries of the Isle of Man aid. Okay, well, let's just ask the Chief Minister. I mean, this international aid is contentious, and you know, how the money should be spent, and not you know leaving it here on the Isle of Man. How, how do you always justify it? Well, I always think if, if you look at what we have on the Isle of Man, even the poorest person will have free rights to health health service, free rights to accommodation. Because whilst we do have technically um, homeless people on the Isle of Man, we do help people in in that situation. Food banks. Um, numerous charities there to support them in, in, in the countries that we're helping and, and as has just been said Burundi is one of the poorest countries in the world and, and we 
limit our help to countries that really need the, the, the money. Well, we're helping people who have nothing and get on their feet and have a sustainable future rather than just giving them food. Right. Give them the ability to produce food, make a living, earn money and improve and See how it's being spent though, isn't that important for people here to see the well, well, end use of this? That's right and I suppose as, as Chief Minister that's been my challenge to all the charities getting the money is that the Man I think if the Manx public if they see the good that their money is being spent on will we'll find it an awful lot easier to take rather than the old adage of charity begins at home and, and I'm delighted that Louise has invited me down and that you're here Paul to, to, for people to see that we are where their, their money goes we spend 2.5 million a year on international aid on various projects we put an awful lot of money in, into Syria but this is one of those smaller projects that doesn't always get a lot of pu publicity but it does help people in those countries get on with their lives. You said two, what, two and a half million pounds a year goes per, annum. per year, yeah. Okay. yeah. But some people say that's not enough. <laughs> you know, yes. So where do you go with this? I mean, you've got a budget coming up on Tuesday. Do you have to put more money in? Are we hitting our targets, the international sort of obligations? Well, I suppose... I get lots of bashing from some of the charities that we would have to significantly increase our contributions to on a per capita basis with the United Kingdom. But in the last budget, we did increase. When others have been maybe cutting their budget, we did increase our budget by a hundred thousand pounds, and that's something I'd personally pushed for to happen. And I was glad that Tim supported it. Okay, well, we'll leave there. I said we've got uh, something to do with bees as well. all part of this. Uh, Harry is off to Burundi. We'll find out details. In the meantime, if you want to get uh, Christian Aid wants more, you know, people want more information about your uh, organisation, what do they do? Oh, please check out Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of posts on Facebook. We'll be updating it with the forthcoming Burundi trip. Um, or drop me a line or have a look on the link that you're going to put on your page. Right. Um, <laughs> or uh, just Google Christian Aid yeah. Isle Man. And people will see how that. Absolutely, absolutely. And I would just like to say a massive thank you to the Isle of Man government. Um, I am so proud to be from the Isle of Man. I am so proud of the international work that the Isle of Man government does. And I think it shows, it shines a light on our island in such a positive way that we're so generous to overseas. Thank That's you. right, not just Burundi. I had someone in my office only a month ago, Paul, and from Nepal, and that was building schools in poor regions where they didn't have a school. And um, that was fantastic work that was going on there. So lots of different countries being supported by the people of the Isle of Man. And finally, will there be a chance for them to have a look at this? Is, where's it going next? Back to you somewhere? Do you have to display it now? Right, I, I will... Um, Put it, I will try and find a place where the public can see it rather than just in my office. Thank you.